Attorney General Merrick Garland has appointed a special counsel to investigate the handling of classified documents found at two spaces connected to President Biden. The locations include his home in Wilmington, Delaware, and a former private office in Washington. So Adriana Diaz first broke this story for us, and she's joining us now from Washington to talk a little bit more about the latest. Adriana, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. The appointment of the special counsel comes as CBS News has learned that multiple former aides to President Biden from his time as vice president have been interviewed. We're also learning more about the timeline. The extraordinary circumstances here require the appointment of a special counsel. Attorney General Merrick Garland has tapped Robert Herb, a veteran prosecutor who served under former President Donald Trump, to investigate the possible unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents discovered at locations connected to President Biden. The stunning announcement came just hours after the White House acknowledged that a small number of classified documents had been found in the garage of President Biden's Wilmington residence and in a room next door. So the material was in a locked garage? Yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, but as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. The latest revelation follows the White House's admission earlier this week after questioning by CBS News that Mr. Biden's lawyers had found roughly 10 classified documents on November 2nd in this building, about a mile from the White House, where Mr. Biden once had an office. That office was not authorized for storage of classified documents. Less than two weeks later, the Justice Department started its preliminary review. December 20th is when President Biden's lawyers found the additional classified materials at his Wilmington home. His lawyers also searched his Delaware vacation house and said no classified records were found there. It's just a question of getting information and getting ready to make some very significant decisions about a sitting president. Alberto Gonzalez served as White House counsel and then attorney general in the George W. Bush administration. He says the appointment of a special counsel is critical. It was simply the right thing to do, irrespective of criticism, uh, uh, not just the Republicans, but the American public. They need to have confidence that the investigation is going to be uh, independent and fair and thorough. How do we find out a second location? And he's shocked by it. On Capitol Hill, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy questioned President Biden's transparency. He knowingly knew this happened going into election, going into interviews. This is what makes America not trust their government. The White House says proper protocols were followed. Now, it's worth noting, Emory, that in just the last two months, Attorney General Garland has now appointed two special counsels to investigate the handling of sensitive materials by both the sitting president and former President Donald Trump, who withheld documents despite repeated requests for more than a year. So, Emory. Adrian, let's talk a little bit more about just how these documents got to where they got and how they were discovered. What's the latest your team is learning about the investigation and the timeline? The timeline is interesting because for the first time yesterday, we heard from Attorney General Garland that they discovered those documents in the garage on December 20th. And the reason why that's notable is that means that it, there was awareness about these documents on Monday when, after CBS News' repeated questioning, the White House confirmed to us that there were documents discovered on November 2nd at the Penn Biden Center. So we were told about the initial documents that kicked all of this off on November 2nd, but the White House omitted uh, including information about the documents found in the garage before Christmas. That is interesting. Um, it's also interesting that the special counsel was appointed. What exactly will the, will the special counsel be doing? The special counsel is essentially going to be operating within a bubble inside the Justice Department. And it really um, is a mechanism that provides further independence. And this is really important because, remember, Merrick Garland, the attorney general, was appointed by President Biden. So it would be problematic, at least optically, to have um, him directly overseeing an investigation into the president. So by appointing a special counsel, in this case, Robert Herr, who, by the way, is a Trump appointee, this provides um, that separation of church and state, uh, so, so to speak. Um, but there's actually something else I wanted to add about our new reporting. Mm -hmm. We've been told by a U.S. Uh, government official that we know the name of one of the people that were that was interviewed by investigators. Um, you're, what you're seeing on your screen right now is the new special counsel. But we actually know that a former aide, the assistant to President Biden during his time as vice president, was interviewed. Her name is Kathy Chung. She actually currently works for the Defense Secretary Lloyd 
Austin. So we do know at least the name of one of the people that's been interviewed as part of the preliminary review of what happened, which is what then led to this next step of appointing a special counsel. So, I mean, should I read anything into the fact that a special counsel was appointed or is this something that happens, you know, regularly or is this special? Well, what it really means, Anne-Marie, is that they have more questions. Sources mm. we've been talking to have told us, you know, it's it indicates that more work needs to be done, more investigative work needs to be done. Um, and considering, as you heard the attorney general say in his in his statement yesterday, the extraordinary circumstances, and these are surely extraordinary. Think about the who, the president, and think about the what, classified documents. Given the nature of this matter, um, it, it was best, in his view, to appoint a special counsel to be able to really dig in on what happened, because they just conducted a preliminary review over the last two months or so, and, and more work needs to be done, uh, more interviews, more investigative work, and so that is going to be taken over now by the special counsel. Hmm. Adriana, great reporting. Really interesting. Thank you so much.